I remember my first day at my first proper job like it was yesterday. My manager set me up on my computer and she told me, you have to access your email through Chrome for some reason. Don't ask me why. It's what I was told by IT and they told me to tell you. Browser selection, to my mind, had little impact on my day-to-day -day workload. So, unquestioning, I used it day in and day out from that day to this. I wish that I had challenged the assertion, though, back then. If I had asked, perhaps my IT team would have taken the time to show me why they felt it was a superior browser. I might have unlocked some of the functionality earlier and saved myself a whole lot of time. With that in mind, I'm going to take you through some of the functionality I now know makes Chrome a superior browser. Chrome is the most popular browser in the world, with 67.76% market share as of March 23. Its reputation for speed and stability is second to none, and it's loved for its features and extensions. Those features vary from customizable settings to tab management to search functions. And today we're going to look at six top tab management functions in Google Chrome. First up, tab pinning. A basic tab management feature helping to anchor tabs to the left hand side of your tabs bar. If, like me, you work with many tabs open in your browser, it can be easy to lose tabs that you refer back to regularly, such as chat or email. Simply pin important or high traffic tabs by right clicking on the tab and selecting pin. Your tab will move to the left of the tab bar. Only the icon will be visible and the close tab icon will disappear so that you cannot accidentally close the tab. You can pin as many tabs as you like and can reorder them as you see fit. Unpinning is simple. Right click the tab and select Unpin. Once you have pinned some essential tabs, you might still find that you have a large number of tabs to wade through. At this point, you may wish to take advantage of the tab grouping function. This allows the user to group tabs together and then operate show and hide functionality to access them. Start by right clicking on the first tab you wish to group and click Add tab to new group. Now you can name your group and add a color to make this group stand out. Your group is not yet a group as it only contains one tab at this point. To add tabs to the group, you can click the tab and drag it into the group. The color you selected will surround the tab, indicating that it is now part of the group. Once the tabs are added, they can be reordered and the tabs hidden or revealed by clicking the group name. When you next right click on a tab, you will now have the option to add the tab to the existing group or to create a new group. You can keep adding groups until you are happy with your tab bar. New tabs can be added directly into the tab group. Groupings can be ungrouped and will return to their tab states. A group can be closed and all tabs in the group will close en masse. And lastly, tabs can be popped out in a separate window. When working with a multitude of Google tabs open, sometimes it can be hard to locate a tab. I often find this trips me up when I am tab surfing in the middle of a meet and suddenly have to find my way back to the meet window. Quickly locate a tab by clicking on the chevron on the right hand side of the tabs bar. Here you can search for the tab in the search bar or find the tab in the tab lists. For ease, Chrome groups audio and video tabs above the other open tabs. One click will relocate you in your requested tab. Not only can you quickly locate audio and video tabs in Chrome, the browser also has a centralized control menu for quick access to controls. Regardless of which tab you are on, access the audio control menu to the right of the omnibar. 
Here you can view any active audio, video or meet tabs. You can pause or play, cast directly to devices or close the tab all within this control menu. A favourite of mine is the ability to mute a site if you have to step away from a meet to take a call or perhaps because someone has urgently stopped by my desk. If you need to quickly mute the audio on a tab, simply right click the tab and select Mute Site. You will see the mute icon appear on the omnibar and you can unmute by right clicking the tab and selecting Unmute Site or click the mute icon to see the option to unmute. Last is another favourite of mine, reopening closed tabs in bulk. I often accidentally close not just a tab, but an entire browser window full of tabs. Very frustrating when researching and unable to remember exactly which articles I had open. A handy shortcut to restore a closed tab is Control Shift and T, or you can use the search tabs chevron on the tabs bar. Scroll down and you can see recently closed tabs, which can be reinstated with a click. But in each of these cases, they will only restore a singular tab. Instead, from the kebab menu, select history and a recent history pop-out will reveal recently closed tabs, including any tabs closed in a cluster or browser window. By hovering over the tab cluster, the pop-out will show the individual tabs within the cluster and offer the option to restore the entire window. One click will restore the full window of tabs. So there you are, six handy Chrome tips for tab management. You can now pin tabs, group tabs, quick search tabs, control your video or audio tabs in the central panel, or mute a single site. And lastly, for those oops moments, you can reopen multiple closed tabs in one click. If you like these tips, why not subscribe to ensure you don't miss any upcoming Chrome tips. Next, we're going to check out optimizing Chrome settings. Until then, take care.